Hello and welcome. You are watching Thomas's tarot page with myself, Thomas Janak. Now, this is your March 2022 general reading. It's a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. For the star sign of Virgo. So, what we will do is we will um, look at different areas here briefly. Uh, one will be the overall energy. So, let's have a look at the overall energy, how, how things will feel and um, are for you in March energetically before we then go into your emotional core, look at what can go um, or, or anything that has to do with, you know, um, releasing old trauma, maybe inviting in love, right? All these kind of stuff. So we look at this before we then go into the area of opportunities. And opportunities oftentimes have to do with, with how to manifest and how to attract um, better deals <laughs> almost right better futures um this kind of stuff um yeah let's just have a look anyway if you like my work you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas here we go so i'm <clears throat> the reason why i'm a bit shifty here is because i'm actually in pain i i um went for a long long walk yesterday um, in really weird terrain and it tells you how unfit you actually are because now my legs are hurting <laughs> so yeah feeling a bit out of sync and I'm trying to sort of you know shift a little so that um, the muscle pain isn't quite as bad what I will actually do is once I'm done with the recording I will actually go for a walk that should help in any case where were we let's have a look at the overall energy for the month of March 2022 for the sign of Virgo We have the ocelot and the arctic wolf. Right, let me show you this. You have the ocelot and the arctic wolf. <clears throat> With regards to the overall energy for the months of March 2022 for the signs of Virgo, what the guides are saying is at this point in time, you may feel a little bit vulnerable, a little bit I'm not sure where I'm going with this and, and what to do, right? And because we're in the months of Pisces, in March, right? And so as a sign and as a strong energy that March just has, um, Pisces is governed by, by Neptune. And Neptune, Neptune's only job, literally, is to bring about and deepen your spiritual connections right so this will be a month where the guides or this is a month where the guides are asking you to um assess things from a spiritual point of view the arctic wolf is saying right is a wolf so therefore make sure you 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 run your pack efficiently even if it is a pack of one right but because it's the arctic wolf which means you live in the arctic every time you live somewhere like the desert or the arctic there's less opportunity so you feel a tad vulnerable because you don't necessarily know how to progress right now we're in the third month three is the number of progression the energy when it comes to doing stuff is already super high this month because the number three has its own energy right the other thing you have is the ocelot as i just showed you and the ocelot is literally saying to you in order for you to make sense of your life you need to or to at least find a vantage point from where and from which to assess your life in a detached manner right so if you are sitting inside your problems um you may not see a way out so all the thing is you know detach yourself a little you know step back and assess where where am i in life and when you then realize where you are Ask yourself if that makes sense. The analogy that I always use is literally um, a very simple one. If you look at your life and then you kind of go like, would I advise my best friend to live my life? If the answer is not sure, then obviously things need to change, right? All the guides are saying is take things slowly, Virgos, um, because you feel vulnerable. And at the same time, this is just a matter of you not sitting inside this this cluster of of lower energies um, and just detach yourself so you find 
a better vision and a better have a better understanding of where you are in the scheme of things so you can actually make proper changes okie dokie that was your overall energy now we're having a look at your emotional core let's see what we got for you there and you have the dwarf so what i'm not getting which is interesting virgos they're not talking about uh, the guides are not talking about at this point in time about about um letting trauma go letting pain go while this is always a good idea to work on this this is not the main energy focus for your sign for the months of march 2022 because he has the dove and what the dove is saying i'm one of those animals that has a 358 degree vision so with regards to love with regards to how do i actually feel about things let things come to you right this is all about you realizing how deep you are and you understand if a situation presents itself to me i need to feel it you need to go like how do i feel about this how does this make me feel right and trust your intuition at all times really really important because the the dove is also about being misunderstood there were times when 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 in many ways the dove is a, is a glorified pigeon right <laughs> and there were times where 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 pigeons were looked at as quite beautiful little birds right and they even got little medals in the second world war and now these days people call them pests right so there's an energy attached to all of this while we separate the dove as sort of the bird of love and freedom and all that kind of stuff which isn't wrong but it's still a pigeon <laughs> right ultimately what the guides are saying to you is there are people who judge you and they judge you wrongly right which is another message that the dove has and because the way you love people you want transparency you don't want to be misunderstood that's something to look at this month right okie dokie so that was that and now finally we're looking at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of march 2022 for the star sign of virgo you are watching thomas's tarot page with myself thomas yannack if you like my work you can buy me a coffee now on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas please like subscribe and share because that helps me grow the channel and please 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 share this video i know it's obviously for one individual star sign and people always go like oh i don't know how many of my friends on facebook um, are, 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 are virgos i don't care <laughs> just share it anyway right if it if it resonated with you it might resonate with someone else right so please 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 keep sharing help me grow the channel right so lastly we're looking at the um opportunities as they present themselves to you in march and again there is a bit of a of a downer energy coming because you have the canal canada goose beautiful but the canada goose's message is for you to understand with regards to starting over starting anew um creating something pretty awesome things take a little more time because the canada goose is as our Oh, yeah <laughs> it's the animal that obviously um, not precisely but the the the, the analogy is you know the, the, the canada goose flies 5000 miles before she lands so all they're saying is things take time opportunities take time before they're fully ready to be embraced and so this month don't fall into the trap of wanting things so badly um that you're not looking at what else is out there if that makes sense right so in other words try to remain calm because obviously when you have an animal that that does only one thing for a long time they ask you to be patient right with opportunities okay okay guys that's all i got thank you all for watching and um yeah like i said please share and i see you all next month bye bye